I'm on my way back home from the grocery store where I got this tiny little pumpkin. So now all I have to do is to get some fallen leaves and branches for the perfect Halloween thumbnail because today we're making three delicious Halloween cocktails. Uh, it is raining right now, so let's go home and make those delicious drinks together. Let's go. What's up guys, Jean-Fix for Truffles on the Rocks. Welcome back to this channel. Thank you very much for joining me again. If it's your first time here, well, thank you very much for joining me today. We're uploading new cocktail videos every Friday, so feel free to subscribe if that's something you're into. Today we're making three delicious Halloween cocktails using three different spirits, so there should be one for each and every one of you. And we're starting right off the bat with something very approachable. We're using vodka, so let's make together a bleeding zombie. Let's go. All right, guys, so the Bleeding Zombie is a riff on a classic gin drink, the Corpse Reviver. It already had a very spooky name, so I thought it was the perfect candidate for a Halloween cocktail. Uh, so, but this one we're using vodka instead of gin. For the most part, it's uh, all equal parts, so it's gonna be very easy to make. You're gonna start with uh, a full ounce of your favorite vodka. Followed by another full ounce of triple sec, one ounce of fresh lemon juice, one ounce of Lille Blanc, which is a white wine aperitif, quarter of an ounce of vanilla syrup, I already made a vanilla syrup in a previous video, so you can uh, look it up if you want the recipe. Link is gonna be up here. And the final touch for a little uh, hearty notes and also for the color, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of matcha tea powder. So now all you have to do is fill your shaker with ice. Give it a good shake. For the garnish, super easy. You're gonna take some pomegranate molasse and you're just gonna make a little swirl for the zombie blood. And you strain it right in there. There you have it, bleeding zombie. Mm. So it's very fresh, citrusy with the orange and the orange liqueur and the lemon juice. It is slightly green and earthy with a match of powder. Um, the vanilla syrup just like enhanced the matcha tea, it just goes perfectly with it. It is a very refreshing drink. It looks a little weird and swampy, but it's very fresh and tasty. So that's it for the bleeding zombie guys. We're gonna reset the station and we're gonna move on to the next one, the Dark Soul. All right, guys, so we are now ready to move on the next one, the Dark Soul, which is a riff on the penicillin. For those of you who don't know what a penicillin is, it is a scotch, ginger, honey, and lemon drink. It is smoky, slightly spicy with the ginger. It is delicious. But in this case, for the Dark Soul, instead of using ginger for the spiciness, we're infusing the scotch with black peppercorn. So I'm gonna put the specs in the description down below for the recipe. It is actually quite simple. All you have to do is to infuse a certain amount of black peppercorn with scotch for a certain amount of time that's it so you only have to mix that wait and then you are good to go uh, in this case we're using island scotch that is actually quite peated uh, but I also recommend to use a Isla scotch that have a bigger peated taste to it so that's gonna make it even more delicious um, and these two kinds of scotch usually have quite a iodine taste to it so to pair with that and also to give a very nice spooky color to the cocktail we're using squid ink so if you guys are ready let's jump into the dark soul so for this cocktail you're gonna use two ounces of your black peppercorn infused scotch three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice half an ounce of agave syrup this one it's already measured this one is a three to one ratio so three parts agave nectar for one part hot water you stir until it is well combined and you're good to go you're gonna get, add one egg white and half a teaspoon of squid ink needs to be a little stirred because it is quite thick but don't worry it still has some chunks in the cocktail because with the shake it's gonna crush it all 
and make it nice and black. You're gonna see soon. All right, so now let's fill this up with ice, give it a good shake and garnish it. Let's go. All right, so for this one, um, we're gonna serve it on a rocks glass, in a rocks glass with a big ice cube if you have it. If not, well, just fill it up with ice. And we're gonna fine strain it because we're gonna get rid of most of the ice chunks that we can. And we're gonna finish it with a little bit of black pepper on top and just a little bit of gold dust. And there you have it, the Dark Soul. So it has a very nice and smoky smell to it. Uh, a little bit of the salin and iodine from the squid ink and the scotch. Smells real good, looks quite spooky and very Halloween-esque. Uh, let's give it a try. So at first you get that smoke, you also get a little spike of the black pepper. Then you get in the back palate something that makes you salivate uh, with, the, um, with the squid ink and the iodine from the scotch. To my opinion, it is a good drink. Yep, and it looks looks quite awesome. Cheers. Let's move on the third one, the fall flip. All right, guys. So last but not least, the fall flip. So this one doesn't have much of a Halloween look to it, but if you ask me, if fall should taste like something, it would taste like a fall flip. And what a flip is, if you don't know, it's actually an old cocktail category that usually calls for spirit, sugar, and a whole egg. Kind of an eggnog, if you will. And in this case, we're gonna use rum for the base spirit and chai spices infused simple syrup for the sugar. Uh, the recipe of the syrup will be in the description down below, so that way I can keep that video as short and simple as possible. So if you guys are ready, let's make that last Halloween cocktail together right now. So for the fall flip, you're gonna go with two ounces of aged drum, half an ounce of East India Solera Sherry, which is a blend between Pedro Jimenez, which is a sweet sherry, and Oloroso, which is a dried aged sherry. Uh, so it's not too sweet and it goes very well with the aged rum. And a quarter of an ounce of chai spices syrup. We're gonna add some spices with black walnut bitters two dashes. Uh, the, this one is from uh, my friends at Honest John Bitters. It is a very good one. And we're gonna add a whole egg into the mix. We're gonna add some ice, give it a good shake and see how it looks like. Once you're done shaking, you just strain it into your favorite coop. and you garnish it with a little bit of fresh grated nutmeg on top. And there you have it, the fall flip. Cheers. Mm. So the nutmeg really gives a nice aroma to this cocktail. It is rich and velvety with the egg, the rum and the sherry just pair perfectly and the chai spices, it just make for the perfect comforting cocktail. So if you ask me, this is quintessential autumn flavors right here. It is, I really love it. So that's it for me today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. At least one of the cocktails. Hit the like button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Turn the bell on if you wanna make sure not to miss the next video, which is gonna be next Friday. Until then, have a great Halloween. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Happy Halloween.